Hi there, it's Angela of Angela Minnelli International, AngelaMinnelli.com. And in today's video, I want to touch on a topic that is increasingly more common with the clients that I'm working with in my enzyme nutrition therapy, and that is the topic of rheumatoid arthritis. Now, rheumatoid arthritis is um, a derivation, obviously, of arthritis which you want to take notes on this because it's pretty simple. Anything ending in itis means that it is a form of inflammation. So bronchitis, pancreatitis, arthritis, anything ending in itis means there is inflammation involved. And it's no different in the case of rheumatoid arthritis. Now, if you do a Google search on this topic, uh, you'll probably come across a lot of different sites discussing it. And in looking for causes of rheumatoid arthritis, it's pretty common that they'll say, we just don't know how it happens. Um, but with the work that I do in natural health and holistic healing, a lot of it goes back to the immune system. Just always got to keep the immune system healthy and working and functioning, in which case um, the rest of the body systems will work just fine. And that is one thing I am finding in my own research is that that's pretty consistent theory that when the immune system is functioning, the rheumatoid arthritis goes into remission. Some of the most common symptoms related to arthritis, obviously swelling of joints, um, you know, fingers, muscle, joint aches, things like that. Um, Low-grade fever can be one, um, inflammation around the heart as well as the lungs, um, loss of energy, loss of appetite, and what else, what is one of the most common things that clients and um, my, uh, the people that I work with, my clients that I work with complain of, no energy, low to no energy. This drives them all crazy. Why well, don't I have any energy? <laughs> well, there's a bunch of reasons, physiologically as well as emotionally, but this is speaking to more of the physiological side of low energy. It all goes back to one of my most favorite topics to discuss, which is um, enzymes and enzyme deficiencies and how this affects these symptoms that you are experiencing. So enzymes are responsible for all the basic biochemical processes that are taking place in your body. To give you a really good example is just the T3 to T4 conversion that has to happen in order for your thyroid to function that is reliant on an enzyme to happen. Same thing with food. When you're um, the process of digestion in regards to food, you have to have enzymes and hydrochloric acid to break them down, um, to break your food down. And if you don't, that's when it leads to food rotting in your gut, these acids that are backing up into your esophagus, and this is why you get acid reflux and GERD, along with a ton of other symptoms like insomnia, um, crankiness, irritability, chronic fatigue, um, gas, bloating, all those embarrassing symptoms that people think that they just have to live with. So getting back to the RA specifically, it's really no different, like I said, than any other kind of inflammation in the body and working on the immune system and keeping the immune system healthy so that the symptoms are, uh, so that the symptoms subside or are in remission, which I'm sure if you're someone who's dealing with it, that's what you're looking for. Now, people tell me all the time that their medications kind of work, don't always work. If you're really interested in a way to resolve the situation on an ongoing basis, naturally, you would be a prime candidate for enzyme nutrition therapy and getting the targeted enzymes that are going to help reduce the inflammation working throughout your system so that these symptoms are not only reversed, but a lot of times alleviated altogether. Um, when you are taking the right enzyme protocol for your specific symptoms, whatever's coming up for you, because it's always about bioindividuality, the unique you, we're not all the same. So when you're working with a natural health practitioner, we're actually looking at the whole, the holistic, the whole being. And we're also looking at you as an individual and not a cookie cutter approach to how we do what we do. But Regardless, inflammation is one of the five root causes of illness, so it just makes total sense that this is a condition that can ultimately lead to um, things like paralysis and even death. 
So if you are looking to avoid anything along those lines, definitely want to contact me about how enzyme nutrition therapy can help you. You can reach us at client support at AngelaManelli.com or you can go onto the website, AngelaManelli.com and contact us that way and find out more information about the services that we offer in regards to enzyme nutrition therapy and how it can specifically help you with RA. That is something that I'm starting to specialize more and more in in my practice because people are showing up with it more and more. So no doubt that um, the enzymes can help you with that particular condition. I look forward to catching up with you in the next video. In the meantime, if you're looking for five ways to improve your health, um, which will ultimately impact your bottom line as far as your cash flow and income, because they're both related, please visit us at angelamanada.com and sign up for our free audio. Five ways improving your health will improve your bottom line. And I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.